Hey guys, what's up? It's Eiflin here. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get your very own Sister of Parvos. So Sisters of Parvos are basically the corpus equivalent of Kuva Liches that were just added in today's update. Getting them is a little bit different compared to your Kuva Liches. To get a Kuva Lich, all you have to do is jump in to a Grenier mission that is a certain level. And if you don't already have a Kuva Lich, there is a chance that a Kuva Lich guy is going to spawn in. You can kill him with your Paras on. You Mercy kill him. And then you have your Kuva Lich whenever you come out of that mission and back into your ship. With the sisters, we have to go ahead and get a Zenith Granum crown. And that's the first thing that we're going to do. So come up to your navigation where i like to go is i go to pluto and i go to hydra so you can go to any level 30 plus corpus mission that takes place on the corpus ship tile set so that is the tile set which has the golden hands basically just scattered about the place right so if we jump into this mission what's going to happen is a enemy called a treasurer is going to spawn in between two and five minutes now that is in like a regular mission like a capture mission or something like that if it was an endurance mission it can take anywhere between five and eight minutes so all we're going to do is we're going to play this mission like normal and then a treasure is going to spawn in so i'm just going to go ahead run around this mission until the guy spawns in and then we're going to cut to whenever the treasure spawns in all right so my treasure just spawned in at the more or less the three minute mark so he's going to be highlighted in red while this little uh marker is going to appear above him once you hit him he's going to start running away so make sure to kill him fast with whatever it is that you're using i'm using Quora with uh, pseudo exalted so that's him dead He's going to drop this little crown on the floor. Your vacuum or Kubru or Kavat isn't going to pick it up for you. You actually have to come and press X to pick it up. Now all you have to do is complete the mission. And there you go. You've got your first or maybe, I don't know, your hundredth Zenith Granum crown. If you've already got a Zenith Granum crown, you can just go ahead and skip this step. Move on to the next one. All right, for the next step, what we have to do is we have to go to another one of those Corpus ship tile sets with the Prognator Warframe that we want to use to get our sister off Parvo. So I would recommend if you're going for a Toxin Elemental Weapon to be bringing Korra. If you're going for Fire, you can go ahead and bring Ember because what we have to do is we have to go into the Granum Void and kill enough enemies in the Granum Void so we can get the Rotation A reward. So... It might seem a little bit difficult at first, but if you just use a Warframe that can kill a lot of enemies, you should be good to go. And if you're really struggling, you can do, I think it's the Deadlock Protocol quest to get the Zorus. Uh, it is basically specifically made for this type of uh, mission. All you have to do is throw this Gleave-like weapon and then make it explode and it'll be pretty easy. But because I'm playing as Korra, I've got my, my first ability. I can just whip a bunch of enemies and... Uh, kill a ton of them no problem if you just want to get the the weapons to get the mastery rank that's totally okay as well you can use mesa and mesa will make this extremely easy but you're going to get magnetic uh based weapons so it basically works totally similar to cuba liches where you just bring you know a warframe and uh you kill the chosen one or the the larvling as they were called whenever it came to cuba liches and then based on whichever Warframe you brought, will determine the element, right? So for impact, you could use someone like Baruch for fire or heat. You use Ember for cool, that would be frost. For electric, it would be vault. Toxin, you could use Sarin, Magnetic, uh, Mesa, or Mag. Radiation would be Equinox, Garuda, Loki, stuff like that, so on and so forth. But for the purpose of this video, um, what I recommend you guys do, bring Korra, and we're just going to go ahead, jump into the ground and void, kill all those enemies, and we're going to get the uh, Corpus Larveling to spawn in. We're going to be jumping into V Prime on Venus just for the purpose of this. It doesn't really matter what level of uh, Corpus mission you choose, as long as it uh, is on the Corpus ship tile set, you should be good to go. All right, so whenever you load into the mission, what you're looking for is a golden hand. Walk up to it, press uh, X on the console, and then use the Zenith Granum Crown that we got from the previous mission to start this. What we need to do is get the rank one reward by getting 25 kills. Should be pretty easy enough. We're going to get sucked into this portal. And all I'm going to do as Korra here is run around and 
whip a bunch of the enemies that spawn in. Now, what I recommend you do as well, you could bring a uh, Kubru or Kavat or Sentinel that has one of the radar mods, which allows you to see where the enemies are spawning in. That way you can pay attention to your minimap. Also bring a bunch of energy pads as well. Uh, if you're not using Quora, then bring the Zorus. Make sure to hold E to do your heavy attack and then use middle mouse button to um, make your, your thing explode. But we're basically done already. All we have to do now is wait for the timer to run out or we can continue killing to get more rewards. But as long as you get 25 kills, you're good to go. It's honestly not too difficult. Um, I've seen a few people complaining about it on the Warframe Reddit earlier. It's no big deal. Just bring a glaive, heavy attack, and make the glaive explode, and all the enemies will die. No matter what Warframe you're using, this should be a pretty easy step. So the thing is about... Well, it was about to end, but I accidentally picked up a thing that extended the time. We're just going to let the timer run out here. And then what's going to happen is, as soon as we start the survival mission... Well, as soon as we get out of here, we're going to go start the survival mission. And our chosen one, or our large lane, whatever you want to call it, is going to spawn in. And we're just going to go ahead and do a mercy kill. So it may not spawn in straight away. I've seen a few people in Twitch chat. They were having trouble getting one to spawn in. Just run around a little bit. This is what the larva lane looks like. Uh, I just one shot it because this is a relatively low level mission. You can see the weapon that it's going to give you just above its head right here. We're going to go ahead, hold the interact button and execute it. Now, once this guy basically just explodes in the air, we're going to be able to back out and then go into our ship. And uh, we're going to see that our queen has spawned in. All right, so here we go. Our queen spawning in. And we actually got the ephemera. So this is uh, my third, my third uh, sister of Parvus. And uh, <laughs> that's my second ephemera. So that's pretty pug. Um, you're not going to get the ephemera all the time. If we go to the universe tab here, um, this here is what the toxin ephemera looks like. So this is the one that we just got. You can see the weaknesses. So this one is weak to puncture, blast, and cooled. You can see the resistances. It is resistant to fire and corrosive. And the weapon bonus is 28%. But we can increase that bonus by getting uh, similar weapons, right? With the same element. So that's no big deal. This caps out at, I believe, 60% is the highest you can get. Could be wrong about that. Could be 50, but I'm pretty sure it's 60. But um, yeah, that's the toxin ephemera, the magnetic ephemera. Looks like this. Oh, it's not on it. Oh, there it is. That's the magnetic ephemera right there. So that's that's my third one. And that's my second ephemera. So that's pretty, pretty lucky on my part. But basically, all we have to do now is go into these here uh, territories that the sister owns, right? So if you zoom out, you can see a planet is going to be highlighted in blue. We want to go there. Basically, what we're going to be doing is running through these missions and killing these uh dog robots right and that's gonna fill up our progress to show us which mods we need to equip to our parazon so we can kill our sister of parvos right so you can see right now uh i haven't got any known requiems down here at the bottom what we're looking to do is find out which requiems we need and requiems are just the mods that we equip to our parazon right so we're just gonna go ahead and throw on free random ones for now and maybe that is the right order. So let's just go ahead, jump in, and I'll show you what the mission sort of plays like. All right, so any of the missions that you choose, they're going to be pretty much the exact same. So if you choose a capture mission, it's going to be a uh, regular capture mission, but we're going to have these little hounds that spawn in, right? So this one's called a Talix Hound. And what they can do is they can disable your abilities. If you look down the bottom right right now, my peacemakers or peacekeepers, whatever they're called, regulators were disabled for like six seconds. I'm just going to go ahead and melt them now. And what we do is we do a mercy kill. And that is going to give us progress towards finding out which one of the Parazon mods we need, right? So they have dramatically reduced the amount of kills you need to get to find out which mods you need, which is great. So usually what happens with Kuva Liches is um, you can stab them, the the queens or the Kuva Liches, whenever they spawn in to fight you, like the actual uh, sister it's or themselves, uh, Kuva Lich themselves, whatever. You can stab them and you can make a lot of progress towards your your Parazon mods, finding out what they are. 
but I wouldn't recommend doing that because what happens is they become resistant to more damage types because whenever you kill them and well I say kill them whenever you try to do a mercy kill on them and let's say you get it wrong they will level up and if they level up they're just going to be harder to kill uh next time they spawn and whenever you go to eventually kill them in real jack so you actually have to have real jack this time around to kill the sisters so there's another hind we just go ahead use regulators on it do a little stab and uh, you see that we make more progress towards finding out which which part is on mod we need so whenever the sister spawns in or whenever your cubilage spawns in don't uh use secret mercy on it you can go ahead and you can get their health down so they are in a down but not out state but i don't recommend actually uh trying to stab them or trying to secret mercy them until you know all of the paras on mods that you need and you have a rough idea of the order that you need to put them in to kill them because then that way they're going to be a lower level whenever you come to eventually kill them all right, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep on playing these uh, owned territory missions until I find out what the first Parazon mod is, and then I'll get back to you guys then. All right, so I have killed enough hounds to now know what one of the mods that I have to have equipped to my Parazon to potentially uh, damage or kill my sister of Parvos, right? So if we go to navigation again, we click on the sister of Parvos menu we can see that under the known requiems i have the vom mod right so if we go to modify parazon you may or may not have a collection of parazon mods you get these parazon mods by opening requiem relics you get these requiem relics by killing the hounds that uh, are appearing on the owned territory missions right so you have a small chance of getting the requiem mods basically what you have to do is you have to do a um void fisher mission at the kuva fortress where you open up these uh relics right so if we go over to the relic console we go to the requiem relics you can see that these requiem relics drop uh these mods under the uncommon uh rewards right so all you have to do is take these relics open them on the fisher mission on the cuba fortress and then you've got the mods and just get the ones that you want honestly anytime you open a requiem relic it doesn't matter if you get the rare reward i would just go for the mods all the time just to have a big stockpile of them so that's all you have to do to get the mods but now that we know that vom is one of the mods that we have to have equipped what i can do is i can equip that into slot number one so if my sister of parvo spawns in one of my missions now what i can do is i can stab her to find out if Vom in slot one is the right mod to have in there, right? So if I stab her and it happens to be correct, great, that's awesome. But if I stab her and it's incorrect, what's going to happen is she is going to level up, right? So what I would recommend doing, uh, stab her once, see if the mod that you've got equipped in slot number one is the right or the wrong one if it's the right one great uh once you figured that out don't stab her again because if the mod that you've got in slot two is wrong she's gonna level up so you can just run away from her at that point and then go complete the mission as normal and that's great um if you know what the second one is if you've you know figured it out great you can potentially equip it but it's just a matter of trial and error at this point until you figure out you know the next two requiem mods that you need to have equipped so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead try to get her to spawn in i'm going to stab her see if vom is the right one or the wrong one and then we'll talk then all right so my sister parvus just spawned in what we're going to do is we're going to try to kill her what i'm using right now is the cuban u4 and Mesa, make sure if you're playing Mesa to have your two and your three up. My Kavat went ahead and stripped her armor, which is awesome. So it turns out that Vom in the first slot is actually wrong. So what that means is that Vom is either going to be in mod slot number two or mod slot number three. It's still a mod that we need to have equipped. It's just not going to be equipped in mod slot one. Because we got it wrong, she's now level 2, which makes her just a little bit more difficult. There's a chance that 
one of the elemental damage types or physical damage types that she was weak to she's now gonna be resistant to because she leveled up that actually happened with my first uh sister uh she was weak to slash originally but then because i leveled her up to level five she was then resistant to slash and that made my life so much more difficult and i'm just trying to save you guys the the headache of uh, a really powerful sister of parvus right so you want to try to keep her level as low as possible and get the um trial and error part uh correct whenever you can right and that's just gonna give you a lot of uh a lot of headache so i'm gonna go ahead farm up the the hounds again to figure out what my next parazon mod is and then we'll talk then all right, so I just figured out the next Parazon mod that I need, and it is Zada. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we take Zada. We put it in the slot one. We're going to try to get the sister to spawn in again, and we're going to try stabbing her with Zada in the first slot to see if it is the Parazon mod that belongs in the first slot. If it's not, then we are in a whole lot of trouble because it's going to be a little bit more difficult to figure out, you know, where each mod goes we're just gonna maybe get to five attempts and that's not ideal hopefully we don't but it's all about trying to get this trial and error part done in the least amount of attempts as possible so uh yeah let's go all right so my sister has spawned in we're just gonna go ahead and kill the hound that she spawned in with do the mercy kill on that put on my second ability because that's rather important for that damage buff Get rid of her shields, like so. Get rid of her health, like so. She's running away a little bit. Oh, the enemies are around me. There we go. She's in a dime, but not out. And unfortunately, we got unlucky again. Zada does not belong in slot one. So we're kind of in a bad position here. Uh, we know that the next uh parza mod is gonna be the one that belongs in slot one but it's still up in the air whether or not voom or zada belongs in slot two so essentially we will need one more attempt so it's not too bad could definitely be worse like we could have like totally derped up and uh had to stab two more times if uh, we forgot to change out our parza mod which is something that i have done quite a bit but uh you know we should be very close to killing our sister parvos within probably in the next maybe i don't know 30 minutes of course you guys aren't gonna have to watch the next entire 30 minutes but i'm gonna have to sit and play for it so i'm gonna go ahead find out what the last parazon mod is and i'll talk to you guys then all right so i find out which parazon mod i needed for the first slot it happens to be crass so what we're gonna do now Try to get the sister to spawn in yet again. If we're lucky, we will get the right order. If we're unlucky, we're going to have to swap Zada and Voom. So that means um, if we get it in this attempt, the sister is going to be level level free whenever we go to fight her. But if we get it wrong, she's going to be level four. So yeah, should be too bad. Uh, but... I would rather she was level 3 than level 4 because the difficulty does scale up quite a bit because uh, they have more damage and more HP and whatnot. So, um, yeah, let's hope we get lucky with this next attempt. All right, so I got really lucky and she spawned in at the beginning of my mission. So it's better that she spawns in at the beginning than whenever I'm uh, doing the mobile defense, right? Because... Uh, if she's there while the mobile defense is going on, it's just going to be annoying. So let's pray that we get lucky here. So almost in a time, but not out state. Almost there. You may actually kill me here because there's a lot of enemies here. Just go ahead and uh, generic them. Keep them still. Do the new core. Can we melee a little bit. There we go. There we go, we got our Kra. So if we're lucky, Zada will be number two. If we're unlucky, Voom will be number two. Let's see. Please don't kill me. I am dead. So you can see that um, they shoot out these little lightning balls. 
and these lightning balls they will deal a lot of like initial damage and then damage over time in the form of like electric rocks kind of annoying so we didn't get the animation there but it looks like it worked so we didn't get the animation because we're out of set of stairs so I guess we got lucky and Zada was the second one don't want to fall off there because that'll just uh remove my abilities which I didn't have turned on anyway so here we go we're almost done and now she's dying there we go two three awesome so what's gonna happen now whenever we complete this mission she's gonna flee to the neptune proxima and we're gonna go ahead and uh jump in the real jack so i'm just gonna go ahead complete this mobile defense and we'll talk about how we can prepare for the real jack portion of the sisters of parvos now so once you have sent your sister to the Neptune Proxima, what we want to do is we want to build a crew for our real jack just to make the real jack section off this a lot easier. So you got to go and you got to farm some intrinsics for the command intrinsics. So unfortunately, if you haven't farmed up intrinsics in real jack before, you just basically have to play some of the highest level content in real jack to farm intrinsics efficiently there isn't really any method of doing it other than just playing real jack so good luck with that seriously it takes a very long time but uh, if you are lucky enough to have a bunch of intrinsics laying around or you have uh bought your way through the real jack experience up to this point that you can just go ahead pause the game go to real jack go to intrinsics and invest uh as many intrinsics as you want into the command intrinsics until you can have free uh crew members right so that's basically all you need rank five and then uh the rest is all just you know just just bonus stuff that i don't really read that much into because i'm not that big of a fan of real jack i am all about the bare minimum so once you've invested into the command intrinsics you want to jump up here to ticker in fortuna and you want to just purchase any uh crew that you can that is basically it so just come here pick up whoever you're able to increase like their potency in uh, certain activities back at the dry dock which is where we're gonna head after i show you guys a new parazon mod that uh, i got which can save you guys some time so after you kill well not kill but uh send your sister to the neptune proxima there is a chance that you get a new parazon mod so if we go to arsenal and i go to my parazon it's a parazon mod called ul if i can remember what it looked like uh i don't think it's actually here for me for some reason but you can get a parza mod called ul i'm sorry that i'm not able to show you it but it basically just mimics the final uh or any of the parza mods that you need to have equipped right so let's say you figure out what the first two are right you can just equip the ul mod into the third slot here and then there you go you're basically you're basically done right so that is that is that so yeah it's a pretty strong mod and it's just gonna save you a bunch of time so i'm gonna go ahead head over to my dry dock and we're gonna set up a crew all right so we're here at the dry dock i'm gonna go through the loadout that i'm gonna be using for my warframe so i'm gonna be using revenant and with revenant i'm gonna be using a kuva nucor paired with any melee weapon where you're gonna equip condition overload even though condition overload blood rush uh and also berserker were nerfed all i've done is i've swapped out berserker for prime fury because berserker and i procs on kill because we're gonna be basically just spamming melee on a uh boss enemy we're not gonna be getting a lot of kills so prime fury just makes a little bit more sense prime smite corpus for bonus damage and then the rest of the build is pretty much the same condition overload plus blood rush for more damage and crit drifting contact for that combo uh organ shatter for crit damage and then the elemental combination in this case i'm using viral because i have a slash weapon right the crit and prime uh kuvan Yukor, you just want to throw on as many status chance mods as possible just to um you know apply a lot of status effects to the enemy that way you're going to get a lot from your condition overload a lot of value from it and then revenant i went with revenant specifically because 
His fourth ability is ultimate. You just sort of twirl around and it's going to deal a decent amount of damage to uh, any enemy that's caught in the lasers, right? Because it adapts to the uh, element that the enemy is weak to, right? So it's just going to use the best element for that enemy. It's pretty good and he's also pretty tanky. So here's a quick look at the build that I'm using on him. This build was made a very long time ago. You probably want to use like energize or something and then uh, strike as your arcanes just because you know it's decent all right so it's an all right build come over to your dry dot go to this tab right here and you can see the crew that you've got you want to have an engineer you want to have a gunner and you want to have a pilot you can go ahead and apply the rules by just pressing the assign rules button and you can train them to be more potent in the rules that they're going to be doing right so if i press train here i can go ahead and make this guy's uh engineering more potent like that and then just assign it there you go pretty easy peasy right so that's what you want to do with the crew members that you purchased um engineer gunner pilot pilot's just gonna fly the real jack for you gunner is gonna shoot at the ships so they don't get close and an engineer if the ship gets damaged they will repair it for you so you don't have to waste your time going in between uh cruise ships and your ship to repair and destroy and whatnot so um yeah with all that being said Let's go ahead, jump into our real jack, and finally finish off the sister of Parvo. So, we start this like we start any old uh, real jack mission. Thankfully, I didn't have to complete any more nodes or anything like that. So, what we do is we just come up to our navigation here. We go up to Neptune, and in the middle, we have sister of Parvo's confrontation. Just go ahead and press it. Gonna do this little uh, looting thing as per usual skip the cutscene our guys are gonna spawn in with us after we get a little bit of a laggy loot here for some reason so there's our crew members spawning in they're gonna go do their do their stuff and what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump out of here get into our Misha and fly fast towards the sister ship Go ahead and uh, just use all your abilities in your Amisha because why not after using a, a few energy pads. And what we're going to do is we're going to kill two cruise ships and we're going to destroy security nodes that are on top of the uh, the sister ship, right? So what I recommend doing is just, you know, killing any ship that is uh, close so they don't damage your real jack because if they damage your real jack and your engineer guy dies, well, you're going to have to go back and repair the ship yourself, but... Here is... That's not a cruise ship. We're looking for the cruise ship. And we're looking for the nodes that are on the, the ship itself, right? So here's one of the security nodes. Destroy that one. That's done. Another one of the, secu of the security nodes. I'm not aiming at it because I'm a noob. There we go. And now we're just looking for those cruise ships to spawn in. There it is. Get my abilities going again. Just hold left click on this. You probably have a better build than my uh, moss alum, but this does the job. You know, I'm not speed running it or anything. We jump in here, and all we got to do is uh, interact with free consoles. There's number one. Here's number two. We got knocked down because we're free. <laughs> There's number three. And uh, a big tube is going to appear here. Let's just do a little spin. Kill the enemies around us. Shoot at the tube. And there we go. We get out of here. Like so. And now we look for the other cruise ship. Now, those, those cruise ships take a little while to blow up. So even though we have destroyed it, it hasn't counted yet because it's going through its I'm blowing up animation, right? We just go over here and shoot in the back of this one. They probably should speed up that whole cruise ship blowing up thing. The shield that this guy has is quite annoying. I'm just going to fly around it like so. My real jack is almost dead, but uh, hopefully our AI will handle it for us. This is the last cruise ship. Same story. Three consoles. 
One, two, and three. I died to something. Don't know what killed me. Whatever. Warframe. Happens sometimes. We're gonna destroy this thing whenever the shield goes down. Awesome. Done. Let's leave. And now we want to go up the... I think it's the right hand side of this. There's a door somewhere. Over here. This is it. We're waiting for that cruise ship to blow up. Just defend yourself for a little bit. There's our AI pilot in the real jack. They're way better than me at it anyway. I hate real jack. Not a big fan of it. Go in here. Awesome. Bring out your nuclear. Found down some energy plates. We're going to have to kill specters and uh, hounds before we can actually kill the sister. So I don't think you can just come in here and melee bash it to death. Fortunately, it's not like that. So we got two of the specters marked in red. Just go ahead and uh, do that to them. Use your new core and melee them. Pretty easy kill. Here's one of the hounds. He uh, basically just one shot me with that lightning ball. That's pretty awesome. Let's just use our abilities here. We put our status effects on him. Just melee him to death as per usual. These guys have some pretty hefty damage resistance. Where did he go? They like to teleport away. Pretty hefty damage resistance. So you're going to be hitting them for a little while. The pars on finisher. And it's the same story for the sister. Um, only this time, her health isn't segmented, right? So you just have to deplete all of her health in the one go. You can stun her with Revenant's one. And as you can see, if we do our little spin, we deal a decent amount of damage. My Smedic have stripped her armor away again, which is great. Or you can just kill her a lot faster by applying the status effects and just meleeing her to death. Um, but if you want to be more safe than sorry, you can use Revenant's four. And she won't, uh, she won't kill you because, like, she takes away your health pretty quickly. Let's just go ahead and store with Zenerik. I don't think that works. Use this. There's a Toxin proc. Once they get any kind of proc on you, you're pretty much dead, right? Any damage over time proc, be it electric, Toxin, whatever. Like, they deal so much damage. It's uh, pretty annoying. So just, just pay attention for that. You may consider using the likes of Ruling Guard, but going in and out of your Operator is uh, just as good as well. Because you see I had a Toxin proc on there a second ago. I was able to just get rid of it. There's another one. Four, three, two, one. Let's see if we can uh, slow her down again with Zenerik. Get our procs on her. I can keep it away. Amazing. I've got Magus Elevate on my Operator, which is how I'm able to regenerate health, which is awesome. It's just a matter of, like, getting that window where I'm able to damage her, right? Let's just go ahead and stun her. Fall off the map. Amazing. So it's a pretty annoying fight. It's not that it's difficult, it's just that it's kind of annoying, you know? And then there's me falling off the map. I'll kill her eventually. If she stops teleporting away whenever I go to melee her. Okay, there we go. She's down. And all you want to do here is... Uh, Select the kill option. I think it's Vanquish, right? So Vanquish will kill her. You'll get the Ephemera and you get the weapon. If you convert, you get the weapon and you can trade the uh, the sister so another player can get the Ephemera. And there you go. That's her dead. You're also going to get a Hound after this as well. And uh, that's just another companion. You get that in your inbox. 
on the weapon is going to be sitting in your finery already crafted. So I think we got one of the the more unique weapons, the briefcase thing. And all we want to do after we kill her is uh, recall to our real jackpot. Seems like we can't use our little equipment item. We just have to leave the ship to do so. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you guys whenever we get back to my ship. All right, so we killed our sister and uh, we got the Mova Talix Tenet Diplus, the Mova Talix Home Blueprint, and the Mova Talix Lucretia Ephemera. Pretty cool. You just want to go down to your foundry and you're able to claim uh, the weapons because they're just sitting crafted and also the hound. So that is pretty much it. Uh, that other parasol mod that i was talking about the reason that i couldn't show you guys is because there's a bug right now where it's simply just not being added into some people's inventories um and unfortunately in my account is apparently one of those inventories that uh is affected by this bug so to speak so that's unfortunate but uh, hopefully they're going to run a script to fix that issue. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you helped it out, or if, if you helped it out, if it helped you out, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more Warframe content, and I will see you guys in the next video.